And now for a quick disclaimer. The T-Bone in the Morning Show is the opinion of T-Bone and T-Bone only, even if you agree with him. They do not reflect the policies or opinions of the Department of Defense, the United States Navy, or the Armed Forces Network. Thanks for listening. Good morning, Rhoda. I am DJ Chick Brew in the house with my one and only man. Good morning, Rhoda. This is uh, T-Bone. <laughs> <laughs> It's I, it's so hard for me to just maintain that normal, calm, uh, calming. I can't do it. I, I don't speak like that on a day-to-day situation. Thank you so much, sir. You're a great assist. I, I, we got a roadie now. We just... Hey, he doesn't know. He's running away. It's like the worst roadie ever. But we appreciate you. Thank you so much, DJ AT in the hizzy. So, yeah, I try to, I try so hard to just be a normal talking person. And then you do 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 do, and then I'm like, yay, let's do stuff, yay. T Bone, there's nothing normal about you, man. <laughs> oh. And we like it that way. Oh, I like, I want to be normal. Hey, here's 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 something interesting. Nobody knows who you are. It's wonderful. <laughs> I can say that for the first time in my uh, road of life, uh-huh. I have been able to walk through the commissary, and only like, and it's great because the people that stop and talk to me are the people I like. So it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, there are some drawbacks to minor celebrity diddy dum. <laughs> I did get stopped in the terminal when I was passing through from Bahrain to go to Norfolk. Uh-huh. And I was just talking to someone in line. N- didn't know either of these people. And the girl looks at me and goes, can you say puppies <laughs> and kitties for me? And I was like, no, I can't. I did it once. <laughs> and that was enough. So yeah, uh, that's, that's what I'm known for. That's, that's, that's a good it. one. That one and to, and to get hit uh, hit by a car is oh, my yeah. personal favorite. Oh, yeah, that's a good yeah one. so for those of you who don't know, let me do some introductions. Well, I mean, let's be honest. For anyone that happens to be listening at this point in the live broadcast or later in the online show, uh, this is DJ Christina Brewer. She is uh, she is one of the most senior DJs in Rota in the fact that uh, she started here a long time ago. She went away for a short period of time, and, and now she's back. So Sometimes you make mistakes and you leave places that you should never leave. <laughs> you should never. Yeah, it's like the Hotel California. Just like that. Or, or a, a Roach Motel. You check um, in, you just... 60-40, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want to leave. It's just too much fun. So, yeah, uh, and uh, me and Chick Brew did this thing called uh, T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning, and we had a lot of fun with it, and we did a lot of good stuff with it. And it's so good to see you back here in Rhoda and, and to have you back with me. Not, don't get me wrong, I've gone through some DJ since you've been gone. I Oh, I mean, I was only in Bahrain. I listened. <laughs> I listened as you as you railroaded over DJs, and I'm assuming that they all evacuated Rhoda and or the Navy because you're just all so right. much personality. Those, <laughs> those that got out of the Navy, that had nothing to do with me. That Those decisions yeah. were made long. I just long. watched how deep that dimple got. <laughs> it might have had to do with you. Uh, no, no, it did not. And and I loved every one of the DJs that I got to work with and still get to work with uh, from time to time. But, you know, there's nothing like your first, you know. Yeah, that's uh, right. We're the original. And then not really, but I, I'm going to let you think that. <laughs> Here in Rhoda, we're the original um, T-Bone and, well, actually, uh, you know. No, no, it wasn't. No, we won't talk about that other person. Though. Who was it? Do you remember? Not me. I Wait, did you go with Lanny? No, 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 no. no. Well, but we don't have to talk about them because they're all gone and we're here. Yeah, I got so some more we'll music, though, out. coming up. And then T-Bone and I will be back momentarily. Whatever, T-Bone. No one cares about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as I have always said, and I started saying this with you, we need to have a webcam in the studio because no one knows what goes on while we are also forced to listen to the music that you are listening to. So uh, I will say it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of sad because I used to have admin access to the Facebook page. And I will tell you, if you scroll through AFN Rhoda's old videos, there is a one very hilarious video of us in the studio. There's a few. But my favorite <laughs> yeah. one is T-Bone wearing a safety vest, uh, yeah, yeah, dancing yeah. to Fetty Wap uh-huh. with the Han Solo cutout. Well, you know. That was documented. Uh, was, that was combat camera right there. That Han <laughs> Solo cutout needed a twerking partner. And uh, and you nailed it. I, was, I had been working on that all week. So you keep coming back to Reflective Vest. Uh, you said it in the tease before the show. 
you talked about it when we were offline, and you'd bring it up again. So let's just get into it, okay? I had other things on the list of things to talk about, but no, Chick Brew's back, so we're all about safety. You know why we're about safety? Uh, through blood and experience and injuries and death. No, it's all about me. I drive a very small car, mm -hmm. which is not that much larger than a human. And if I can't see said human, I will probably not have a car. Is that your <laughs> micro car out there? That is hilarious. No, that's not mine. I do <laughs> Rhoda, I know you have missed this the mouth orchestra <laughs> we have provided in years past. Well, we're back. All right. So uh, this morning, my uh, my count was two for two. I had two people that were wearing reflective belts, and I had two people that were not wearing reflective belts. And uh, when the opportunity, uh, no, look, I, look, okay, look, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. <laughs> Break it, it down for It was people. raining out there. It was bad. Yeah, so I would normally, I started stopping and talking to these people about traffic safety, like on my way to the studio, and then I'll give them a reflective belt and say, hey, this is for you. And they're like, oh, thank you, reflective belt angel. And then <laughs> I'll probably give them a ride, you know, depending on uh, if they're uh, attractive or not. Because I don't give attractive people a ride because that gets you in trouble. But if you're ugly, I'll give you a ride all day long. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we became such good friends. <laughs> I was like, I don't give attractive people rides. Get in the car, T-Bone. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, two reflect people wearing reflective gear. Two people not wearing reflective gear. And, of course, our goal is to get everybody to wear reflective gear. Look, folks, I get it. Yeah, you're you're too important. You got too many things going on in your life. You don't need to wear any reflective material when it's dark outside. But wow, right now, between giant trees in the roads, as you previously explained, uh, the leaves, the wind, the rain, and the fact that apparently no one changes their windshield wipers around here. Yeah. Because it's southern Spain. We get rain, you know, for a couple of weeks out of the year, and the rest of the year... You know, yeah. But the rain we get is the dirty rain from the desert, and it's got all the sand and the grit in it, and then the sun <laughs> how, just beams down. How do you down. really feel about these windshield wipers? Here's what. I, here's how strongly. So once a year, I'm pretty sure I don't really follow. Uh, well, there's a time when it's like, hey, it's that time of the year to check your smoke detectors, and you're supposed to change out your batteries. I don't know when that is. I'm sure somebody knows. I think you're supposed to do it twice a year, actually. And really, batteries yeah. twice but a actually, year. But actually, I think you're supposed to check. The batteries in your smoke detector every time you change your toothbrush for you you've never checked your smoke detector batteries so oh, you got that going for uh, on that insult right there i tell you what we're going to do we're going to tell you how to get a hold of us at 727-1025 call us in the studio hit us up on the afn rota facebook page make your comments on the rota q a page we don't care if you get if you reach out to us we'll reach out to you but right now it's back to the music it's all in my head. And we're back. And by we, I mean T-Bone and myself, Chick Brew. It's T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning. I just want to let you know that Fetty Wap is apparently T-Bone's jam. Doesn't matter what song, because every time you just start dancing, I don't know what that shimmy was My right watch there. told me to get up and do stuff. Well, you nailed it. Yeah. And, and uh, you were and feeling inspired. I was feeling inspired. excited and... I, I was, I was to, sharing the temptation of love. I'm going to have to tell J-Bone that I know exactly what <laughs> she needs to get you for Christmas. A unitard and a Fetty Wap CD. <laughs> so we're going to go back to music, but what are we going to tell him? Uh, to, why, why do we want him to come back and listen? And it's getting ready to be our busy time. Oh, because my favorite my favorite thing that we do. Which thing is that? A toot toot. Uh -huh. It's yeah. my favorite. We're going to come back. We're going to be talking about the Toot Toot program. It's uh, it's coming out of retirement. It was a great way of letting people know that they're doing awesome things. We'll tell you more about it when we come back. I thought she was saying if we could be diets, which is like a horrible thing. I don't ever want to be a diet, but it's giants. Oh, it's not giants. what I heard at all, but did start with a D. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Back to T-Bone. All right. <laughs> no, no, I mean not back to T-Bone. So uh, we, we, I was on a rant and then. We, oui, we, oui, yeah. So yeah. we're French and all then... of a sudden, T-Bone. Nom de plus. We do, we do. Back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do, do. <laughs> anyway, so we, I was on a rant about windshield wipers and then you stick your finger up in the air and tell me to, to knock it off because windshield wipers. No, so uh, we were talking about them. Because we get the dirt, we get the sun, we only get a little bit of rain, and I think windshield wipers expire here a lot quicker than they do anywhere else. Because I rarely use mine, but when I use them, it's just like sludge. Just yeah. not necessarily sludge, but smears, all smears. 
Which is another reason why it's so vitally important that if you were a pedestrian that I could possibly kill because of my failure to replace my windshield wipers on an annual day. Because there's no day. There's no day. Hey, welcome to Southern Spain. Change your windshield wipers on this day. So I think we should make a day. Like Valentine's Day because it leads right into our, our, our rainy season. And, and what better lo- way to say I love you I- <laughs> than I don't want you to die in a fiery crash. Right. Or, or I... I I, if you give windshield wipers to your spouse on Valentine's Day, it's kind of a way of saying, I don't want you to accidentally kill somebody and go to prison. Or, good luck trying to figure out how to put this on. I'm going to record you, and we're going viral, babe. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I heard. That's what I heard. We said, give as a gift. <laughs> so, you know, yesterday was my parents' 38th wedding anniversary. Speaking of loved ones, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, do you know yesterday was Jose Colon's birthday? Did you know that? It was also my friend Mel's birthday. I don't know what you're talking about. Who's uh, Jose? Oh, Jose! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah. Is he still in Japan? Um, yes, he is. Well, currently he's in the States visiting, but he's still in Japan. You know, yesterday, Fernie, Fernie Wilson found out he became an officer. Oh, well, yeah. we're doing really good. The world is doing really well. Yeah, everybody's doing great. Now, change your windshield wipers every Valentine's Day. That's our new thing. Windshield wipers on Valentine's Day. Somehow we're going to make that national. I don't know how that works. But, I mean, I have well, some ideas. Southern Spain, specifically. Windshield wipers in Southern Spain, Valentine's Day, change them out. Because that's the new bouquet. That's that. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, you can make it really cute and, like, put some bows on it and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about toot toot because I'm all about toot toot. All right, so, uh, yeah, I know you're about the toot toot. <laughs> yeah, it's important. So me. what we used to do, and this was a community effort to kind of remind everyone to do the right thing we would uh we would take our time to share this information to do the toot toot program the toot toot program meant if you were driving along during the hours of darkness and you saw someone who was doing it all right they were wearing their reflective gear they were on the correct side of the road as a pedestrian or the correct side of the road as a bicyclist the bicyclist had their headlights on and you could see them and there was no chance of you accidentally running over them because they're little ninjas on bikes with no lights doing a stealth mission to get run over uh, <laughs> uh, that you give them two toots of your horn just you know innocent little beep beep like hey i see you and I congratulate you. The first the first toot is let them know that you see them. The second toot basically says, I congratulate you doing such an outstanding job of being visible. It's toot toot in rapid succession. And then we had to educate the, the walkers and the bicyclists that when somebody rides by you and goes toot toot, they may be your friend or they may just be somebody saying thank you for doing such a great job. So Christina's back. It's time to bring the toot toot back. If, if the T-Bone and Chick Brew show continues... Uh, yeah. I think it'll make a strong comeback. Then we, then we really want to bring back the Tutu program because it's a great safety initiative and it's a little bit of fun for everybody. And it's not like you're going to run out of beeps on your horn. You've got extra beeps. I mean, so. unless, you have, unless you have T-Bone's horn, which literally sounds like the aircraft carrier is pulling into your driveway. So I think you decided that you were just going to roll your window down and yell, toot, toot, right? Yeah. I <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, the Volvo has an air horn that makes me want to, uh, it sounds like I'm getting underway. We're going to go back to the music. We're still taking your calls at 727-1025. And you can always hit us up on the AFN Rota Facebook page. What he said times two. I don't remember when I was young. I was born old. I'm so depressed when I listen to her music. Just everything is like, uh, You're just uh, jealous that you don't have that hair. You're jealous of her hair. We all know no, that not, you care about I, her I hair. I really don't know what she looks like. I could, if, if she was walking down the street, I would not be able to pick her out in the crowd. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know who she is. Yeah. That's fair. Now, Lady Gaga, I could pick her out. Uh, you could probably also pick her up. She's very little. <laughs> I like little, small, and breakable. You just put them in your pocket. Just, just like, tote them around. Here we go. Right. Go in. Like yeah. a sugar glider. Like I'm just gonna carry like, you like, uh, in yeah, my pocket. Like, a, like, like make a, a little pocket pet. You a just little carry Lady them Gaga with pocket and just tuck her in your coat. And just like. Well, no, I get one of those little. If I had a little pocket Lady Gaga, I'd, I'd get one of the little dog carriers, so she'd have some room to play around. Right. So she could move. Yeah. yeah. Right. It wouldn't have to be a very big thing. I don't know why I put a lot of thought into this. Yeah, it was just escalated <laughs> rather quickly. Hey, Let's what's talk the weather about like the out weather. there? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's raining Lady Gaga's. Um, no. <laughs> I do love how the weather website has changed. They've upgraded since I was last here, and it says, rain will continue for 81 minutes. That's very specific. That is very specific and also completely inaccurate. Right, because it doesn't look like it's raining. I can't really see well, it, to be fair. I can't people see. don't know we work in a basement, so <laughs> everybody just, drives by the building and they think, oh, look at the, that must be where they work up there in the tower. Nope. No. All the way down. In the padded room. Subcutaneous <laughs> level. In the, yeah. <laughs> it is a padded room. Okay, but for real, the weather here in Rota today is 50 59 degrees. 
I thought spring was coming. I'm just it is coming, but there's... Slowly. We, I mean, this is no surprise, people. We go through a rainy season for a couple of weeks out of the year, and we get all the rain that we need to last us the rest of the year. I mean, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. And there's nothing that I can do about it. I'm just saying. There are I people find it digging pers- out their cars under 12 feet of snow in the Life United choices. States. Not Life right choices. Now. They yeah. chose to live somewhere cold. I live somewhere hot, and I hated it. So you know what I did? I joined the Navy <laughs> because the Navy doesn't have bases in Texas that I could go to. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the cold weather's not going to kill you. Right now, uh, your chance of dying of hypothermia right now is only if your intellectual uh, quotient is very, very low. If you're, like, just standing out there and just... You have to try at this point. Yeah, you, you, you have try. to go out of your way uh, for a hypothermia threat right now with our weather temperature. But what you do have to worry about is you got to worry about the wet conditions. Uh, and people running you over with their cars that would or bicycles because people could die from a bicycle accident uh, or their mopeds. Mopeds uh, are really dangerous in this weather, though, because yeah. the sand will blow off of everyone else's cars. If you live by the beach, the sand goes on your car when it's windy and then you drive around the roundabout and it comes off. Oh, yeah. And then the mopeds, I it always terrifies me. I watch them. They take it just a hair too fast. You just watch the whole thing slide. And all I go is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I ride the mopeds, and uh, I take it very, very careful if it's wet out because of conditions like that. But the other thing, uh, the other thing is the wind. The yeah. wind is very uh, strong, and the wind can do damage to you, uh, flying objects or something like that. Can you bring that down just a little bit? <laughs> uh, and, uh, yes, princess. The- <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you need, T Bone. So the, the the wind can do damage to you, but the wind does damage to other things. The other things do damage to you. So I mean, the last windstorm we had, we had a giant concrete wall fall over. Luckily, nobody got hurt. I know when you open up your doors at the commissary and the exchange, if you're parked next to another vehicle and you're not paying attention, that thing's going to swing open and it's going to hit somebody else's vehicle or it's possible that no one's around you and it swings open and it wrecks your vehicle the same with doors so you're looking at wind conditions you're looking at weather you're looking at rain you're looking at just 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 stay inside today everybody is a soup day stay home oh okay well that is uh you've heard it here folks (laughs) t-bone has Uh, officially said so declared today is a soup day uh I will second that, as this is my only obligation today. <laughs> Stick around. I've got your Eagle Rotor news coming up, as well as your 7.30 stand-up. <laughs> All right. So we're back, and by we... Yeah, so you know, 7.30 stand-up, you know, it's a great thing. We started doing that, and then uh, some people do it, some people don't. But uh, thanks to DJ AT coming in and setting that up for us. Todd Barry, New York comedian, very funny guy. But could, did you notice, like, the first half of that set... His cadence and his, uh, it's, he was very breathy and his cadence and his delivery. It was, it was like that set was written by Mitch Hedberg. It really, the, like the first half <laughs> Maybe of it that. Maybe was like channeling him. It, the first half of that, I was hearing Mitch Hedberg's voice. Uh, no, I was hearing Mitch Hedberg jokes with Todd Berry's voice. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. that was interesting. So. 7.30 stand-up is fun. If you like 7.30 stand-up and you want to hear it all the time, it takes extra work by your DJs, okay? So you need to say stuff on the AFN Rota Facebook page like, hey, I really like that, and if you keep doing that, that'd be cool. That'd be great. Or you call them at the studio, 727-1025. You can do that too, And but that's not as good of a record. of. And, hey, while we're on the subject of praise, let's talk about your complaints. Many of you have come to me whenever you hear a Christmas song on the radio. Because somehow they're still in the schedule. You and should always be in the Christmas spirit. And if you really want to embrace it, feel free to give me gifts all I, year long. I agree with you that uh, the Christmas song should not be playing. I agree with you. But the way to do that one is you get on, uh, Not the, does the AFN Road a Facebook page have a link to the AFN Europe page? AFNEurope.net is where you make right, that complaint. Right, that's where you would make that, uh, bring that to... Yes, go on AFNEurope.net, and it doesn't have to be Rota specific. You could say, I'm an AFN listener, and I just don't want to hear Christmas music in uh, March. You could do that. Right, or if you do want to hear Christmas music in March, you can also let them know that you're digging it. Yeah, it's- please don't do that. Because <laughs> then more messages come to me. How about some St. Patrick's remember, Day music? Do you music? remember Markina Wilkinson when they were here? Oh, yeah. She would call and request Christmas music just, like, randomly. And I think that's why we don't take requests anymore. That was like four years ago. But it was so funny because you're like, I really need to hear Jingle Bells. And you're like, really? Because it's, it's July. Well, if, if a DJ's ever going to play a Christmas music in July, they should let people know that there's somebody out Morning. there who really needed to hear this. Right. 
No, I sing through the snow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no? No, All that right. was great. I was really impressed. <laughs> Could you maybe sing some Adele next? I know you love her. I Hello. don't. It's me. <laughs> I, it's like the most yeah, terrifying thing. Like uh, the rain and fire thing. I don't get that one either. Never got that one. It, the fire and the rain. Napalm. Yes. <laughs> See, there's oh, so much more to it. I'm about to become an Adele fan. Now that I think Napalm, that's a great song. Listen, Rhoda, I don't know if you realize <laughs> how, one, large T-Bone's eyes just got. They also got really shiny. Like, like Christmas had been delivered in the form of a British woman with voluptuous hair. <laughs> one of my favorite cadences while running involved Napalm. And my daughters know this song, but it is too politically incorrect to sing in formation anymore. Oh, but yep. Yeah, that's a great one. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with that because i got to go do the other thing. Oh, like work? Yeah, that other thing I do. Yeah, I yeah. don't have to do that. This I, is literally it for me today. Oh, I, I so envy you, you with know your what? brown ID card. No, no. I thought it was going to be awesome. Uh-huh. Being a spouse is hard. Oh, yeah. Hardest it, job in the yeah. Dio, D- Dodia system, I heard. I have been trying to come up with <laughs> dinner. I, I'm not... I'm not a cook. Uh-huh. I've been like on the internet just furiously typing chicken. I Do you know how long it takes to cook a chicken leg with like the thigh? It takes like hours. No. God, it takes forever. No, buy an Instapot. Ah. Uh, oh, Instapots are amazing. Don't I say see that. what you're getting ready don't to do, but you that. let me say goodbye first because I got to go. go. You go. All right, Rhoda, as always, it has been T-Bone and Chick Brew in the morning, a throwback to the good old days. I'm T-Bone, she's Chick Brew, and I really appreciate uh, you spending your time with us. I love you, Rhoda. Be safe out there, and uh, yeah, be safe. You know, I'll see you uh, next Friday. And toot toot and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I've got some Lean On by Club Nouveau. This goes out to Miss Shirley at the commissary. Thank you for keeping me fed. And I'll be back with you guys in just she a bit. She sells chicken, by the way. She does, and it's already cooked. By the seashore. <laughs> it's already cooked. Shirley.